So welcome, Peter and Richard. Thank you. Thank you. So welcome to J Hipster, the best way to breed a new web application. In front of you today, you have uh, the two geeks, uh, Richard and me, Peter. We are Squeeders. Squeed is a knowledge company caring about learning. And um, as Squeeders, we truly believe in delivering great, awesome software together. We believe in commitment to make things happen. We believe in simplicity because simple is effective. And we believe that knowledge builds the future. Um, we are software developers, and as software developers, we believe in uh, building upon the knowledge of the community. And we believe that repeatable tasks should be automated. And we believe, uh, believe in delivering business value instead of, instead of spending time on boilerplate code and the configuration. You know, Richard, I, um, the last day here, I, I met our CEO. He had uh, this awesome idea for a great product. It was a really simple product, dead simple. Uh, just write one status message and share it with the rest of the world. Dead simple. But it should be production worthy. That's what, his, uh, that's, uh, what he's after. What about, do you think we can build that as professionals? Sure, we can do that. We're professionals. We're professionals. And sure. what's the estimate of that then? Well, there's a few things we need to bring to the table. Uh, first, we need some kind of backend, so we could bring in Spring Boot. Okay, what's the estimate on that? Well, that's not too complicated, so that would take four hours. Four hours. Mm -hmm. And of course, we need some uh, tooling to that so we can build the system. So we need to bring in a Maven or Grunt. And the estimate for that? Well, that's actually really simple, so that only takes one hour. Okay. And uh, then uh, just with the back end, we need to have something that builds the front end. So we need to bring in a tool called Grunt. Okay, the estimate? Well, Grunt takes four hours. Mm -hmm. And then we also need a package manager for the front end. So to manage dependencies and so forth. So we need uh, Bower. Okay, and what's the estimate? Well, Bower would take four hours. Mm -hmm. So, Peter, do you have any insights on how the user interface should be? I mean, um, our CEO, he's a really hip guy, and I heard that the most hip thing right now is single page applications. Can we do that? Sure, we can build single page applications. Uh, then we would use uh, an Angular JS uh, application. We would use HTML5, CSS3, uh, and this awesome Twitter bootstrap. Okay. There's a few things, so we bring in that stack. What's the estimate for that? Well, since there's a few things, that would take three days. OK, three days. Hmm. But in order to be efficient when it comes to the CSS3 things, we need to bring in another tool called SAS. OK, what's the estimate? Well, that doesn't take too long. It only takes four hours. OK, OK. So I guess, Peter, that we need to store this information in this very simple application. So we need to bring in a database. Yes, what's the estimate? Well, a database that would take four hours. Four hours. Yeah, and to, to cope with the database, uh, the database refactorings, we need to bring in a tool called Liquibase. Oh, Liquibase, I've heard of that. that that's, a, that's a neat tool, really impressive. That must be hard to set up. No, actually, Liquibase is really simple. It, it only takes four hours to set that up. Four so hours. So we shouldn't worry too much. Mm. So, Peter, any insights about the performance of the system? I mean, uh, not only is our CEO hip, he dreams of world domination, so it typically needs to uh, be performant and scale really well. How do you do that? Okay, so if I get this right, Peter, the non-functional requirement is world domination. Yes, correct. Okay, so translated in my mind, that would be equal to caching. Mm. So we can bring in a distributed Hazelcast cache. And I think that might take a day. A day, OK. Yep. Mm. So to ensure the quality of the system, we need to have back-end tests. So we bring in those. And uh, I think we should have some performance tests as well. OK. And the estimate? Well, that would take a day to set up. OK. 
So just with the back-end test, we also need front-end tests. So we have to bring that to the table as well. Mm, that's tough, I guess. Well, it takes a day. Mm -hmm. Some configuration, some tooling. Mm, a day? Oh, not too much. OK. Uh, you said that this was going to be a production-ready system. So in order to know how the system feels, we need to have monitoring. Yes, and what's the estimate? Mm. One day. OK. <laughs> One day. Mm. So I guess there will be a notion of a user, right? Yes, users. OK, if we have users in a system, we typically want some this, this feature called security. OK, so and that's hard. What's the estimate? Well, security, you can think that that would be hard today, but mm. I think we managed to fix that in one day. One day, OK. Yep. And since we have users, we need something called user management as well. Oh, you mean uh, like creating and managing user stuff and uh, password reminders and such? Spot on, Peter. OK, that's good. You can have that. It takes one day. One day? Yep. OK. Mm. And uh, to be really professional, professional we, we need to create API documentation as well. Oh, I love documentation. More of that. Yeah. What's this, Matt? Well, there's some tooling we need to set up, so that would take typically one day. One day. Mm. So you said world domination. I guess that implies internationalization. Well, um, at least in my mind, uh, we need to reach out of Sweden to be world dominant, um, to dominate the world. Uh, so typically, yes, other countries, yes. Good point. You can have world domination and internationalization for one day. OK, that's good, good. So any other features that you would like to kick in? Well, I mean, uh, it would be good to, to be able to search for, for these statuses that uh, other users uh, broadcast sort of. OK, if you want search capabilities, I think we need to add, add uh, full text search capability. Yes. That would take one day. One day more. Yep. OK, that adds up. OK. There's a bunch of other things that we need to keep in mind. Uh, so we don't blow up the web browser. We need to minify the resources so we don't send too much to the browser. Mm -hmm. So that would take another four hours to set up. OK. We also need to think about HTTP cache headers, so we can cache things. Yeah, I agree. I yeah, agree. That's good. What's the estimate? That will take four hours. Four hours. So, any insights on the user interface? How should that look like? Well, I mean, typically world domination, um, you can't rely on, rely on uh, people having the same devices. So, we need to adapt to the screen sizes. Do you have a hint? Yeah. That, that's th then we would go for something called responsive user interface. Okay. And that will take one day to, to, to cope with different resolutions. One day? Yep. OK. Mm -hmm. And in order to, to have a good development workflow for a responsive user interface, we need to bring some tooling into the table as well. So we need something called browser sync. And okay. that would take just two hours. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, when I'm browsing the web, logging into different applications, I can use my other, uh, other social platforms to log in, like, like Google and, uh, and uh, Facebook and such. What's that? Oh, so you need social login. Social login, yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Mm -hmm. We can do that. It will take one day to integrate with a social login. One day, OK. So um, what does all this add up to? Well, let me see. If I'm correct, that would add up to 160 hours. Mm hmm OK. But you have to remember, we have something called velocity as well. Velocity, I've heard yeah. of that, yes. And the velocity in our team, scientifically calculated, is 63.2 percentage. OK. So the grand total would be? 253 hours, 3 minutes, and 15 seconds. Oh. But Peter, we have forgotten one thing. Forgotten something? I can't imagine what. I mean, I, th I think it's a lot already. Please tell me. We have forgotten to write the business logic. What are uh, the business logic? That's the important stuff. I mean, uh, even though it's a very, very small application, I mean, the business logic is what, is what brings the business value. You can't miss that. What's the estimate for that? Well, since this was a simple application, the business logic would take 
Eight hours. Okay, eight hours. Hmm. Let me see if, if I get this correctly. Really simple application. Uh, about six weeks of work, though only eight hours of uh, business uh, value. Hmm. Is that what you're saying? Seems a little, little much to me. Uh, you say you were a professional. <laughs> there must be another way. Well, there's another way. Oh, you but tell the drawback me. Uh, the drawback is it's not invented here. Okay. This might be an option. Let me present J Hipster. J Hipster is a Geoman generator. It generates a Spring Boot backend and an Angular JS frontend. It's not a library, so it's no, it's no code that you bring in. There's no dependency. It just generates the code for you. Uh, so, in essence, it's best practices wired together with all the tooling that you need. JHipster supplies generators to manage uh, application scaffolding, creating entities and creating services. It wires together all the tools that you need for you and your team to be productive. And it even deploys your application to the cloud. OK, um, that's neat. So you say that we don't need to write all this stuff of our own? No. Uh, what about all this neat non-functional fu uh, stuff, like, uh, like uh, user management, security, monitoring, all this stuff that is required for a production uh, system? What about those? Jay Hipster will generate that. What? What about the testing stuff? All the back end and the front end uh, set up to get this uh, wired up correctly. Jay Hipster generates that. Man, it's too awesome. What about uh, the database management stuff and the, and the, and the clustering and the, and the caching stuff? Well, Jay Hipster can do that. I'll tell you what, this awesome UI, the responsive uh, single page stuff, what about that? No problems. J Hipster covers that. Okay. But I mean, team workflow, that's important. And I'm, I've been struggling, I, I know other teams will be struggling a lot with the tools just to make it efficient, both, uh, both on the back and the front end. What about that? J Hipster is actually really good with tools, so it configures all the tools for you, so it's covered that. Oh, man. But the Spring Boot one, I've heard a lot of great things, but it's some configuration to get all the bells and whistles going. What about that? Well, as I said, what uh, um, J Hipster really does is generate a Spring Boot application. So obviously, it generates Spring Boot. Oh my god. I can see a blue screen. What's left? Well, what's left, left is business logic, eight hours. Hmm. So we believe, we believe in delivering business value instead of spending time on boilerplate code and configuration. We believe that you feel the same. And we believe that you guys should check out J Hipster. Thank you very much. Thank you.